Hey what's up guys, it's Nash Crafter and welcome to my channel for another episode here in my single player world. So we are back with single player vanilla Minecraft. For today's episode guys, we are going to start out by uh, doing some updates, not too long, not too many updates or anything like that. And then we're going to be building. I'm very excited about this build. I think it actually turned out really cool and I'm excited for you guys to see it. But without further ado, let's just flip around and let's get started with this episode. So last episode guys, we set up some villagers. So I got some villagers off camera and I put them in here they were zombie villagers now they're regular villagers because we converted them back into normal villagers which is awesome and I actually found another zombie villager another zombie villager decided to spawn randomly and I actually caught him over here now I want to go over here and show you guys uh, this guy so he's he's a white coat um I was really excited when I saw another white coat because I was like okay maybe this guy's our mending our mending guy um and I actually do have a clip of me converting him it was uh, in the middle of the night time and I just grabbed my I grabbed my golden apple and my potion and I just did it all there I wasn't recording at the time but I did pull up my recording software and do a little bit of a a little bit of a clip because I wanted to show you guys that this was going down so um, I'm gonna insert that right here and play that so you guys can see it and see how I got this guy um, he was like I said a white coat zombie villager and then I just turned him into this guy and he is actually a cartographer so not great I really wish he was a librarian but that's okay you know um, totally fine either way now I've actually been thinking a lot about this because I was gonna do that in today's episode I was gonna make a villager breeder and everything and get that set up and hopefully get myself mending but I was thinking about it and there's one problem that is a little bit more important that I think needs to be addressed and that is my food so I do have these farms here which they're they're decent they're pretty nice they're just small animal farms they're nothing too crazy but the thing about this is that I haven't really been doing so great on food so I think it'd be really nice if we got together a better food source and that is what we're gonna be doing in today's episode we're gonna be building a chicken shop and it's just gonna be like a little fried it's not really fried chicken but like you know we could call it fried chicken and it will be all good a uh, little fried chicken place where we can go and grab food anytime we need it I already have the design picked out and everything Thing. I did it in a test world and I'm super excited for you guys to see this build because it's so cool I think it's so awesome um, but first things first we need to hop into our palace of patrons and I need to add in two more patrons so that's probably what you guys saw uh, right here in my inventory so the first one we want to add is cat mooper and we need to put his armor on the armor stand just like this boom 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 like so and then put the head on top and that looks so awesome uh, very cool so he donated the tier 4 so he gets a full set of diamond armor which is great and then we have one more to set up over here and this is quick MC I believe is how that's pronounced so that is an amazing skin I think that's super cool so we're gonna put the gold armor on because that is what was asked for so we got that I still need to get the chainmail armor I haven't been able to go down an AFK for a while because guys I've been stuck in forever stranded land I have literally been forever stranded in forever stranded but we're back in single player and um, it I'll have to get myself some more chain mail that's the long story short but that is pretty much it for the updates in today's episode guys um, like I said I, I wanted to try to make it a little bit quick but now we are ready to get on to this build I need to grab myself some food really quick I also need to prepare for this build just a tiny bit by getting some blocks set but I'll be right back with you guys in just a second okay guys so I'm back and we are just gonna head down this path now I actually wanted to talk about this I created some pathways throughout this city here it's kind of starting to come together and it looks nice I mean it's nothing official yet I just wanted to kind of lay out some pathways so I know where to put future builds that was kind of my idea behind it I don't know um, if these like I said are set in stone yet or anything but I think that we could really we could work with this we could do something pretty cool and I have some like going that way and then one main one that kind of runs this way and I think it's cool I think it's gonna look awesome uh, one other thing I also wanted to mention is that we are not playing in faithful anymore I don't know if you guys uh, could tell the difference they're very very similar so um, I like it's been interesting playing not in faithful because it really doesn't feel that different I wanted to talk to you guys about this while we head over to the place where we're gonna do this build it's kind of off a little bit from the town but that's the point I kind of wanted to put it over here for a specific reason uh, just to kind of 
uh, spread everything out. I want to really make this town kind of first starting off with different buildings kind of scattered around because I think this is what's really going to pull the town together is filling in buildings in between other buildings, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think that's going to be the cool part. I think kind of uh, building inside in between other builds is what's going to be cool. So this one's kind of over here. So sorry about that little like tangent that I just went on. Uh, I just kind of wanted to explain explain the idea behind where we are kind of building this new build and stuff like this. So it's going to be right here. But I wanted to talk to you guys about texture packs because I'm going to be starting to make my own texture pack and I'm very excited about this this is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time and I just want to put this out there that this has nothing to do with Joppa or Jasper I know Mojang is currently working on new textures for the game so this has nothing to do with that um, it's just something that I would like to do for fun as kind of a way to to try something different and to make this series kind of its own thing. So I think having a custom texture pack fit for this series would be cool. And that's kind of the idea that I have behind it. So it's it's not anything to do with Minecraft or Mojang and what they're doing. This is strictly just, just for me to have some fun and play around with textures. And I've already learned some pretty cool things. And uh, I do think it's going to look really awesome. So aside from that, I guess we can start planning out this build. Like I said, this is this is a really exciting build. I'm so, so stoked to see how this turns out, but I need to get the proportions right. So I think what I'll do is I'll leave you guys for just a second. I'll kind of map things out and then I'll come back with you guys and we'll start to build this thing kind of from the ground up. Okay guys, so I got the outline all done. It's looking good. Um, all the proportions should be right, I hope. I think I got this. I think I got this looking good. Um, so we're just going to go up and we're going to go up by four, I think. Thing. Now, this is going to be an interesting build because, like I said, this is going to be a little chicken shop and I decided to kind of hide it back here because there is going to be a little bit of redstone that we need to work with and I would like to hide it in the side of this mountain or like a little bit back here so that I can just cover it up and hopefully like no, it, it won't be noticeable at all. So that was the idea behind choosing this area for this build. And let's see, let's pop up here like this. I decided to build this on camera with you guys as well too. I'm probably not going to do the whole thing on camera, but I did want to kind of do a, a camera build because a, a, like a build with you guys because I feel like I've been doing a lot of time lapses lately. And although I love them very much, they're like my favorite thing to do. I think it's good to, you know, take a step back and build some things on camera block for block with you guys. And I want to make sure that I don't, I don't do time lapses too, too much. Also, this single player world is kind of like a, a mini build series. It's something that I want to, I, I really want to show you guys around and how I'm building these and why I'm building these and explain to you what I'm doing in my thought process. And I kind of think it's good when I just like do a block for block build and kind of talk to you guys about what I'm doing. I don't know. I just, it's kind of some thoughts I had in my head as to why I would want to do it this way, but this is kind of the starting frame. So it's going to have this little bottom part here. And then it's also going to come up here by a couple. Not as many. I think we'll only go up by three on this side. And then we'll kind of stand up here. Pop a block there. That looks great. And then let's see. So you're going to walk in the door. It's going to be like this. And then you can kind of turn here. And this is where the chicken shop is actually going to be. So next thing I, I think I want to do is go in with some spruce wood. This is something that I don't really do very often. I do this with stone brick mainly. At least I've been doing that on the other builds. It's kind of going through and adding just a little bit of a pop of a different color. And I think this is what's going to really, really make it look cool. So we're going to do something like this. We'll just close this back part off now. This is where the redstone is going to be, but we'll kind of, we'll think about that here soon. Um, not so much right now. Then we also want to block this off. There's going to be like a little, a little outdoor, a little outdoor countertop here. That's what's going to look really awesome. And I actually think I might want to pop this back by one actually. Yeah, I think, I think we should pop this back, back by one a little bit because right now it is looking a little bit, uh, a little bit too flush, I think. We should, we can fix that up by just doing like that. That way this log kind of sticks out. Gives it a little bit more depth, which I think is, could be a good thing. And I love this stuff. I love the white concrete. And I thought it'd be kind of nice to mix the textures, kind of make it seem like it's a little bit worn, a little bit distressed. And 
Uh, so we could do something like this, a little white concrete there, maybe there, just rotate them like that. That that doesn't look bad. And then again, just kind of going around, distressing the walls a little bit. It doesn't have to look perfect, and that's kind of the idea behind why I want to do this. And I'm trying not to stick with a pattern, but um, I feel like it might kind of... Yeah, it kind of kind of looks like a pattern, kind of not. That's good. Um, and then going to the back again, we'll just kind of mix this up, make it random. And I think I've decided actually maybe we should go up by four on these sides, just kind of keep it even. Um, and then we could always change that later if we want to. I just want to make sure that this kind of makes sense. But pretty much all these walls are going to be filled in with this white concrete. I think it really fits with the city. I'm trying to use different colors, but also make everything look like it would be related and make sense. So I think that looks really cool. I think that looks good. And this is also going to have a second story to it. So there's going to be a little build over here and then a tiny, tiny little roof here. And I think that should look pretty cool. So next thing we want to do is go in with some stairs, some spruce stairs to be exact. So then we can kind of go under like this just to add some definition and then right here because that's where the door is going to be. So I really like the mixture of colors. I think the spruce wood looks really, really great with the oak wood and then the white is kind of a popping color. So I think that looks cool. And then over here is probably going to be like a little outdoor patio. Um, not sure how I'm going to make it fit in this space because I did have it planned out in my test world as a, a really nice patio, but it could change. We could change the shape and the size and things like that. So that's not going to be exact how it was. I would really like this to be livable, like someone lives here. They kind of run the chicken shop. I don't have any names for this one yet, like Leroy. Uh, Leroy was just kind of a, a really random fun thing that I came up with on the spot. Um, so maybe something will come to me and we'll come up with an idea for who owns this place. So coming right here on the edge, I think I'm going to jump up by three, maybe just two. Nah, we'll go up by three. We want to make sure we have quite a bit of headroom here so then we can come across like this we'll do that to every single side and then this is where the roof is going to sit so you're not even going to see this but this is like this is a really tiny room um which is it's okay uh, we'll make it work we'll add some some a bed or some i don't know some bookshelves or something to make this look cool so it is becoming nighttime. i do want to go take a sleep really quick i don't want to be building during the night just so you guys can see and um, it kind of helps me out too. I don't have to worry about mobs. So I'm going to run and grab my bed really quick, go to sleep, and then I'll come back with you guys in just a second. Ooh, check it out guys. So this is what it's looking like so far. I'm loving this. I really, really like it. I think it fits really perfect in this spot. And I think we, we couldn't have picked a better spot for this guy. And I actually do have a plan for this little cave here. Uh, I want to make like a staircase going down, maybe do something cool down there. Uh, but that's kind of a kind of a random idea, just a, a little tangent that I wanted to talk about. But I did decide to put the roof on this because you guys have seen me do roofs before. Uh, it's really, really simple. You just uh, forward stair, upside down stair, forward stair, upside down stair. And then I topped it off with some spruce wood, which I think really fits the build. Kind of going with theme, keeping with everything. And this is the the shape of it so far. So we're kind of... We're getting there. We're getting there with this build, and I'm very excited to see how this turns out. I just want to come back with you guys and do a little bit more building, not too much. Uh, I'll probably finish this off, um, but I do want to keep you guys as in into the build as I can. Oh, I do actually need to go grab some some wool really quick. And while I while I go grab wool, I wanted to talk to you guys about as I mentioned before, I was talking about texture packs. And I wanted to talk to you guys about what blocks in the game you would fix if you could. Um, I was kind of having a chat on my Discord about this, and it was really interesting to me. A lot of different ideas, and I would love if you guys would leave down in the comment section like the blocks that you would change, because I just think it's, it's a really interesting topic, and I know that, like I said, Minecraft is changing. I think they're changing every single block. That's their goal, but I... I would like to know what you guys would change. What are you, what are the blocks that you think really could be improved in the game, I guess you could say? I think we're going to go one, two, three, four, like that. We're going to go there. Yeah, I think that works good. Then we'll do orange, white, orange, white, orange. 
Cool, cool, cool. You guys will see what I'm doing in just a second. I'm going to make this really cool, uh, kind of awning type thing with some beds. I think this is going to look so sick. I'm very excited for you guys to see this, and hopefully this gives you guys maybe some inspiration on how you can use blocks other ways too. Um, this is one of my favorite things to do is take blocks and use them the way that they're not really meant to be used. Um, there's a lot of blocks that can really fit different things and this is just one cool thing that I want to show you guys the, yeah this should be cool okay let's hop up and let's place these beds down here so we want to do orange on the orange orange and then orange red there and then we'll take the two white beds and we'll put those right next to them like that and you guys can see it kind of looks like it matches and it's it's sloping down a bit so then we'll break ourselves down these blocks can go get out of here get out of here get out of here thank you and check that out guys so once I get the roof on this thing I think it'll look a little bit better you'll be able to notice it a little bit more but it kind of gives us really cool awning effect and then if we go back here and kind of prop ourselves up you can actually see it kind of giving off the a little bit better of an effect to there and then we'll we'll jump back down I want to add some spruce stairs upside down to make this look like a little place where you can order some food and that looks awesome that looks so cool and then it kind of blends in back there so and I like the bottom of the beds because they actually have a wood texture so you do get that that kind of more industrial texture to it um, I guess I guess you could say so that is that that looks that looks sweet uh, next thing I need to do is put the roof on top of this guy which again I think I'll do off camera just because you guys have seen me do roofs before I think this is gonna be a little bit of a kooky roof um, but I guess uh, I don't know I don't really have a plan exactly for it if it's gonna be kind of random I'm just gonna randomize it and you guys will see once I come back and then I might do a little bit of decorating as well um, I haven't really decided yet but I, I, I want to make sure that I fit everything in this episode so you guys can see the finished product so I'm gonna get to work guys I will be right back in just a second and we'll continue finishing out this build welcome back guys so I got some work done so this is the last progress update of today's video and it's all done guys this is officially what it looks like I left you guys when I was doing this roof and like I said I kind of wanted it to be a little wonky a little funky and I just did that by breaking up the textures by putting some upside down stairs I also have some full blocks that are are popping out here and there which I think looks really cool I put a little cooker kind of ventilation thing on top it doesn't actually work of course but I think it looks pretty cool now uh, we should sleep because it is getting to be nighttime but the cool thing about this build is it is super functional it has a million beds in it it actually only has six but what we can do is we can actually jump and sleep in this and it actually works guys so uh, what I can do is I'm in a block okay um <laughs> we're good we're good we're good uh, so yeah, you can actually use these beds to sleep in which is kind of funny too It's not really supposed to be for that, but you can use them and I think it looks it looks pretty cool Actually, I love that detail. That's probably my favorite part of this build is the outdoor the outdoor bar area Not even a bar but like the outdoor it almost looks like a food truck or something like a mini food truck attached But it's more of like an outdoor door place where you can buy food I guess like a little a little outdoor window I've said outdoor so many times I don't know how to describe this yeah this build is awesome I'm so happy with how it turned out I hope you guys really like it uh, this is this is it and I want to give you guys just like a, a little tour because um, I've been staring at the outside of this for a minute now but I just add some pathing like I said I'm probably gonna do something with this little place over here and I think this would be nice to have just a little fence or rail looking over into there and it's it's tucked away perfectly into the side of this mountain so um, I, I'm gonna be able to hide redstone in the back now I didn't do the redstone for this build because I want to do that off camera you guys know that redstone is not my my strong point it's not something that I'm very good at so I think I'm gonna use a design by rabbits more he makes really awesome tutorial videos um, redstone videos and and his design fits really well in here so that's what I'm gonna do I'll link the video down below to his automatic chicken cooker um, like I said I'm not gonna do it in this video because I just wanted to do the build with you guys 
I'm not I'm not a redstone. I don't I don't really do redstone. You know, his video is awesome. You guys should definitely go check out his video if you want to learn it because he's going to explain it a million trillion zillion grillion times better than I can. So, yeah, that's just all I'm going to say about that, but I did put some chests in here. It's looking really good. This is where the chicken cooker is going to be eventually. A hidden crafting table. It's always nice. So, it's like a little a little stall you can um serve customers and things like that. And then I have, you know, we sell feathers and chicken and raw chicken if you want to. Um, there actually won't be too much raw chicken, but it's it's just for decoration. It's okay. Coming over to the front, I have this little detail that has a sign saying it's like a chicken shop. I didn't really know how to do this, but I thought this would be the best way to execute like a little hanging sign. So I like it. I think it looks really good and it stands out. So that's nice. Little overhang looking good. And oh, over here, I forgot to mention this is like my little outdoor patio area. So it's got some hedge around it to keep it blocked in. We've got a fence post and then all the different little tables that you could kind of, you know, sort of maybe sort of sit at and then back here this is actually one of my favorite features I thought you know what better to have a restaurant than to have one that plays music I love listening um, to music when I'm at a restaurant they usually play some really cool stuff we have some Minecraft music uh, so we'll just play like one of these one of the classics so we can have you know little music playing my my music hello hello phantom music disc yeah you can just chill up there though floating music disc uh, but we've got a jukebox so this plays like radio outside the patio so that everyone who's eating can listen to some music uh cat isn't exactly the best tune to maybe listen to we'll have to get some different cds but they fly everywhere uh it's kind of an interesting feature of this build i guess but it works whatever then heading on the inside we just have uh, this little place here it has a door so you can actually access the patio from uh, inside the build too. So I thought that was pretty cool. A little plant. Uh, this is kind of the area where come back to the kitchens and again take customers orders here. It's all just for decoration. It's not really functional or anything. But I thought it would be nice to to just have, you know, make it look real. Make it look authentic. Then this is the place where the shop owner lives and actually me and a friend were talking about this and we thought it would be kind of a funny idea if Leroy the lumber, the lumberjack Leroy um, who works at the lumber mill actually kind of like switched jobs or like had multiple jobs. And so Leroy, when he's not at the lumber mill, he actually works here at Leroy's chicken shop. So uh, Leroy just runs this whole place. He loves it, and it's it's cool. But this is this is technically his like his other room, I guess, um, until someone else moves in and takes his spot. But yeah, we've got some banners. You can actually see these from the outside, and they look pretty cool. They're kind of to act as curtains. And I guess I, I could go show you guys um, on the outside here. It's just some paintings. It's a little cramped, a little crowded, but of course it's a small build, so that's to be expected. And in every build, I want to add these little miscellaneous kind of random things. So this is Leroy's first chicken breast. Um, so that's that was his first one. And then Leroy's first feather. And these it just it fits the theme of the chicken shop. And we have two of these over in the lumber mill as well. So it's just kind of a fun little play on that idea i guess and um, stepping back what i wanted to show you guys was you guys can see the um the curtains hanging through the windows so if we step back it's kind of hard to see the top ones and yeah there you go so you can see the little white one there kind of sticking through that top window and then it goes all the way down drapes through so it's just to give some privacy and some color, some accent color. So this is it guys. This is the place. This is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this build and enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm going to do all the redstone off camera because redstone's not my specialty. Um, I just wanted to show you guys this really cool build and hopefully this inspires you guys a little bit, gives you some ideas if you guys want to build a chicken shop for yourselves. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Vanilla Minecraft. I will catch you guys in the next episode this was my chicken shop design i hope you guys liked it if you did leave a like on this video it's greatly appreciated thank you guys so much for doing that and if you're new to my channel thank you for subscribing guys we just hit 6,000 6, subscribers as of this video we just hit it like yesterday which is incredible thank you guys so much for 6,000. that is i never even thought i would get to that point so that just means a lot to me but Thank you guys. I will catch you in the next episode. I've said that a million times, but I will talk to you guys later. I hope you all have a very beautiful, wonderful day. Bye guys.